Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Eric Oren. Hello everybody, here is a look at where temperatures across the state currently sit. You can see a pretty wide swing here, uh, down close to freezing in the southeast part of the state. And the rest of us in the 40s and also the 50s, getting close to the 60s as we warm up today. It's going to be another above average day. A little bit cooler than yesterday, but not by a whole lot. Here is a look at your workday forecast. High of 79 degrees in Bend. And the wind's going to be in the 5 to 10 mile an hour range. A little bit stronger late this morning and then staying pretty moderate throughout the rest of the day. And as you're heading into work this morning, it's around 50 degrees. Then we're into the 70s by lunchtime, and we'll top out somewhere in the middle to upper 70s, even the low 80s as well. Uh, sun setting around 6, 12 p.m. As we take forward a look at your weather headlines, uh, loosen those ties. It's Friday, and I've already taken the liberty. Of course, I'm in convertible mode. So if you need an excuse to cut loose, there it was for you. Uh, we also have a summer-like feel here presently. Of course, we're good 15, almost 20 degrees higher than what we expect to see for this time of year. But but there is an end in sight as we see rainy and chilly conditions coming our way on Sunday with a bit of a cold front pushing through. Here's a look at the Pacific Northwest. There's that area of high pressure that's been kind of dominating the forecast, continuing to wrap warm air into the area. And as you can see, also some cloud cover coming our way as of today. And it should continue going into tomorrow, although mostly clear skies ahead. Here's the next couple of days. Uh, as that high pressure system moves to the east and that ridge breaks down, you can see an area of low pressure coming our way on Saturday. We're still going to be fairly warm, but we're going to start to see a little bit more by way of cloud cover. And then on Sunday, that's when we start to see that chance for precipitation. And of course, those temperatures will slide way down into the middle to upper 50s, which is a lot closer to what we usually see for this time of year in the area. Now, temperatures that potentially could be record setting today. We saw a couple of records fall yesterday, and today it looks like Sisters and Madras are the ones that are threatening Sisters, set to tie their forecast record set in 1974, and Madras set to exceed the 75 degree record set in 1955. Their forecast at 77 degrees, of course, all of these uh, forecasts are on pretty slim margins in terms of the records that have already been set. So if anything changes or we are warmer than expected, we'll of course keep you posted on that later today. Now, air quality in the region we do see some moderate air quality due to some prescribed burns in the area, um, but we do hope to be able to report better air quality throughout the rest of the day and, of course, through the weekend. Uh, of course, conditions in the area are perfect for those prescribed burns, so we do expect to see a few more of those coming our way. Uh, right now, temperatures uh, in the area, we are in the 30s and 40s, 46 degrees in Bend, 45 in Redmond, a little chillier in Sun River and Lapine at 38 and 37 degrees, respectively. Madras and Warm Springs also at 45 degrees, a little bit further to the north of the forecast area, and highs today in the upper 70s and low 80s. We're a couple degrees cooler than yesterday, but not by a whole lot, as you can see here, still very summer-like conditions at 79 degrees in Bend, 81 degrees in Redmond, and of course, 75 in Sun River being the coolest in the forecast area today. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Smiley is trying to have his morning coffee, but also he's scratching his chin, wondering how it's so warm uh, today, and then starting to get so cool by the end of the the weekend, as you can see, we're getting much closer to average temperatures when we hit early next week, and of course, a chance for some precipitation by the middle of next week. Overnight lows starting to get chilly again. That's your local alert weather forecast, and I'm Eric Horn.